boy, when she was home on break, she was just very upbeat and really connected to all of us. She spent a lot of time with all of us. Normally, it was a little different than your week-long break. She had a month. And normally in her week long break, she'd spend a few days with us and then off to Indian Creek to climb or go on some adventure with her friends. And so it was a little limited. But this last time that she was back with us, she, uh, she just spent a lot of time with us and uh, was, you know, sharing her love. She really was. She was writing people letters and talking to everybody that she could talk to. And it was, it was really wonderful. She wrote a lot too. So. We are blessed with having Olivia's journals and her writings, which is a tremendous gift that she's given us. I mean, she just had this romantic feeling about the mountains and being in them and mountaineering. And she had this idea about um, exploring the mountains and really immersing herself. And she had things that she wanted to do. She wanted to live in her truck. <laughs> and she did that for a year in Montana. She lived at Big Sky and had her whole checklist of, of what you do in your truck when it's 20 below <laughs> and what you don't do in your truck when it's 20 below. But she was pretty proud that she had done that. Olivia called me one day when she was up here after skiing and she had been with I think the Silverton Avalanche School and she said, Mom, I'm a snow geek. I totally get this. I understand what they're talking about. I am interested in it. I just find it so exciting. They had hit it off and just clicked at the, the ski shop and, and Ryan was, was just uh, really interested in, in Olivia and what she was doing. And, um, and Olivia just had, got a tremendous kick out of skiing with Ryan and, and Ryan is a tremendous skier and Olivia was a very strong skier. So it was a great, great mix for them and I, I can you know clearly remember that morning. Just unbelievable what happened. I'd say as a as a ski family, we talked about this a little bit, and, and with Olivia, we do identify ourselves as skiers, and we've always endorsed the sport, and we were thrilled about what Olivia and her friends were doing. Uh, we, we recognized the risk, and we understood it. Um, we did not dwell on it, because you cannot do that and, and live your life and think something tragic is going to happen. Um, I think even with this tragedy, we all immediately resolved that we would continue to, to endorse this, this uh, backcountry skiing activity and, and you know, even create a foundation that would allow another kid to study what Olivia was studying. That's, it's important to us as far as the, the details of the rest of the day have been investigated and, and even during the initial portions of their day and the initial skis they did, they were just all smiles and just happy, happy. And there's some photographs of that. And, you know, they were being watched from town through a telescope by one of the Silverton Mountain guides. And, and uh, they, were, they were having a great day. She was where she wanted to be, you know, what she wanted to do. I echo that completely because, you know, she and I talked about the risk part, you know, and sorry. Sad for sure. It's, it's sad. Very hard. And she knew that, you know, I was worried about that as her mom, you know? And uh, she tried to find a quote for me <laughs> so that she would know, she would let me know that it was a minimal risk, you know, for people who were educated about this. And I, I you know, had to go with that. But I, I knew that what she was doing had a lot of risk involved in it. And you, I think it makes you aware and mindful and you say things to people that maybe you normally wouldn't say in a lower risk situation and you're more present with people maybe and I I would like to think that that's you know the case but um, it's just I, I'm not 
mad about her decisions. I'm proud of her for what she was trying to accomplish. And I don't hold anger. I'm not, uh, I just miss her, you know, because she's somebody to miss for sure.